For most classes, one of the first things you have to tackle in a research assignment is choosing your topic. But it's not always easy to settle on a topic that isn't too broad or too narrow to research. If it's too broad, you'll get thousands or even millions of results covering many different aspects of the overall topic. If your topic is too narrow, you may get few or no results at all. Consider democracy. On its own, democracy as a topic is too broad. If you try searching for it as a keyword, you'll get a massive results list with research coming from many different disciplines. Alternatively, what do you think will happen if you try to research a topic like, did rationing in World War I play a role in the Irish Canadian women's suffrage movement in Vancouver? Clearly, neither are topics you can do justice to in a term paper. The good news is that you don't need to completely abandon your topic. All you need to do is find the right focus. One way to approach this is to start with a big idea and look at the subject menu that comes up in Discovery. Look at all these other subjects. See what happens to your results list when you click one of these. You're telling the computer to bring back results that have the word democracy and this subject tag together. So what you wind up with is a list that's a lot smaller and that has material that relates these two ideas together. Note, you don't have to use the subject menu to relate ideas together. You could also narrow down your focus by combining your ideas together up here on the advanced search screen. You'd still want to start with democracy in the first box and then think about what aspects you'd like to zero in on. Ask yourself, are you interested in a specific demographic, such as gender, age range, or cultural group, or perhaps a specific geographic region or historic era? The key, of course, is not to narrow down your topic by all these options. Start off with just one or two and see what happens. Do you still have thousands of results? Okay then, try adding another idea or two to your search, though maybe not this many. How about this? Yeah, this looks a lot more manageable. Of course, all this presupposes that you had an idea to begin with, and that's not always the case. If you're unsure where to begin, you'll benefit from doing some pre-research, that is, pre-research in an encyclopedia or subject dictionary. These can help fill in your background knowledge on a topic, which may in turn generate some ideas. For more information, check out the pre-search videos in this channel. The point of all this is that you may have to do some background research and tweak your topic a number of times before you can begin writing. Don't be surprised if your research feels more like a spiral than a linear set of steps. It is. At the end of the day, research is a complex process that takes time, so make sure you start early enough to do a good job. For help with this process, drop by, call, email, or chat online with us at the library. You'll find all our contact information in the Help menu of the library homepage under Ask a Librarian.